Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with King Arthur Knight's Tale game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. So sometimes a simple restart takes care of the problem. So just restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Still you're facing the problem, then verify the game file. To verify the game file, go to Steam, then go to library and then make a right click on the game. This is just an example. Make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification, launch the game. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD web. Go to Nvidia website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select the right operating system and then click on start search and then scroll down this is the latest driver click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete run this exe file now you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean installation restart you can now the next step is to Allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, in case if you're using Windows security, then go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now, if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security, and then you will see Windows security. Now, if you have Windows 10, then click on update and security, and then you will see Windows security. So click on Windows security. And then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end here, you can see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. And then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app. Then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed. So if it is in C drive, go to Windows C drive and then open program files x86. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam Apps folder. Now open the Common folder. Now over here you will find the game folder for King Arthur Knight's Tale. So open the game folder. In my case it's not there. In your case you will find the game folder. Open the game folder. Select the game exe file then click on open. This is just an example. So select the game exe file then click on open. Once the game is added over here, launch the game. Now the next step is to launch the game as an administrator using the exe file. So for this go to steam and then go to library and then make a right click on the King Arthur game and then select manage then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder or you can go to this PC, C drive, open program files x86, open the steam folder, steam apps folder and then open the common folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file this is just an example make a right click then select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator put a check over here then click on apply okay and then launch the game from here so make a double click over here and then launch the game now the next step is to is for laptop users with dual graphic cards so if your computer came with dual graphic card then run the game on dedicated graphic card. For this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. Now click on browse. Now again go to the game installation folder. So open the steam folder. And then open steam apps common then open the King Arthur game folder, select the game exe file, then click on add. Now, once the game is added over here, so once the game is added, click on the game, then click on options and then select high performance. So this is just an example. So once the game is added, click on the game, then click on options and then select high performance, then click on save and then launch the game. Now the next step is to update your windows. Make sure that your windows is up to date. So go to the start menu, click on settings. Click on update and security or windows update and then click on check for update 
and once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to disable steam overlay for this go to steam and then make a right click on the game select properties uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game so make a right click on king arthur game and then uncheck the box enable the steam overlay while in game and then close all the other overlay application so if you have discord running on the computer close discord now if you have ge force experience running close ge force experience so close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner running on the computer make sure that you close msi afterburner now if you have revert tuner running close revert tuner so close all the overclocking application also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here first then click on disable all in my case this is grayed out i already did it so put a check over here and then click on disable all then click on apply then click on ok you will see the restart option restart a computer and then launch the game next option is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 now you have to do, go ahead and download x86 and x64 version so click on both the exe file that is x86 and x64 version download it and then click on the exe file run both x86 and x64 version click on repair or install whatever you see you might see the repair or install option click on it click on yes to allow run the second file as well now click on repair or install whatever you see click on yes to allow and let the installation complete now once the both the installation is complete then click on restart and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to launch the game in window mode so if you are able to launch the game launch the game in window mode and then lower down graphic settings so if everything is set to ultra or high you can select medium or low performance so lower down graphic settings and then make sure that you launch the game in window mode and then check now the next step is to disconnect multiple monitors so if you have multiple monitor connected to the computer disconnect all the multiple monitor and then try to launch the game on single monitor unplug all the usb all the external devices disconnect all these devices so disconnect all the external devices which you are not using disconnect it also close all these software so if these softwares are running close it now for asus computer user if you have nahimix services running close nahimix services for this make a right click on the start menu then click on task manager now in the list over here if you find nahimix services running select it and then click on end task this is just an example i don't have this services running so if you have nahimix services running select it and then click on end task also if you find lighting services running in the task manager select it and then click on end task and then restart your computer and then launch the game also remove the undervolt so if you have undervolted your hardware make sure that you remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to a different drive so uninstall the game delete the game folder from the game installation folder restart your computer then reinstall the game to a different drive and then check so one of the steps should help you to get the game running on your computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel